Hi everyone, this is Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our price prediction update for the VeChain token. If you are enjoying this daily content, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you're interested, I've got a Discord group and a Twitter, and I'll make sure to leave the links in the description. This is the VeChain token on a weekly time frame, and you can see that I've just taken away that Fibonacci retracement tool, which was just uh, there previously. And the reason that I've done that is because I want to demonstrate how I've actually uh, put that in, just so that you can all do it on your own charts. And you can see that we do have this end of the 2021 price prediction coming in at that $1.25. Now this is where I do believe we could max out at the end of this bull run on that wave 5 and I do believe we're adhering to this Elliott wave theory as many people are going to be aware but um, I also have been given this price prediction of the 85 cent and that's actually where our conservative price prediction is coming in around that 80 to the 85 cent region. And I'm going to share with you right now why I do believe that that's definitely a target which can be achieved. And I'm also going to share with you some um, profit taking levels uh, for the VeChain token as this has actually been requested. So I'm going to just, um, I'm going to apply the Fibonacci retracement tool in reverse to this wave 3. And this is going to compare the wave 3 to the wave 1. And this is going to help us when we're comparing this wave 5 to this uh, wave 3. So basically we're looking at the previous price data here to see what's happened in the past so that we can apply it to our projections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Fibonacci retracement tool out. I'm taking it from where the bull run actually started and I'm just uh, going to compare this wave 3 to this, um, wave, uh, to this wave 1. And the way that I'm doing this is just by taking our zero... Sorry, by taking our one level here, just to where this uh, wave one actually maxed out, and I'm just putting this zero level here on this uh, Fibonacci reverse retracement tool, just right where this uh, bull run actually started. And you can see that when I do that, you can see that the 1.618 comes to that 14.5 cent region. Now, um, what usually happens in the Elliott wave theory is that we do actually extend 161% of this wave one, and um, actually overextended on this wave three, and this is usually the area that we aim for. So you can see that we were actually only aiming for around a 14 and a half cent uh, V chain on that wave three journey. But what managed to happen is that we did actually come to that 1.86 level, and that came in at the 28 cent. Now this 28 cent region you can see is 25% um, away from that 161% uh, as we're on that 186% and this is on that 1.86 level on the Fibonacci retracement tool. Now I do actually encourage everyone to be going on in on a Investopedia just so that you can research the Elliott Wave Theory fundamentals. This video will make a lot more sense to you. But basically we usually come to the 161% overextended of this wave 1. So 100% um, of this wave 1 and then 61% of it, so like that much of it, added on, that's, that's what that level is. And you can see that we became 25% um, of the wave 1 overextended. So I hope that that makes sense to everyone. But you can see that this 1.86 is definitely where we were overextended to on this wave 3. So if I just get rid of this now, and I'm actually going to apply it to our um, price prediction on this wave 5. So I'm going to get my Fibonacci retracement tool out. I'm taking it from the bottom of the wave 4, and I'm just going to take it to the top of this wave 3. And you can see that when I do that, we do come to this uh, $1.25. When we do come to that uh, 1.86 level, so this is definitely, if we were to be as overextended as this wave 3, we would be coming to this uh, particular level. But you can see that the conservative price prediction, if I just zoom in, is actually coming in on this 1.618, and that's that 84 cent region. Now this 84 cent region is um, definitely an area which I do think we are going to hit. I do think um, conservatively that this is going to be my end of the bull run price prediction. So if you were to say what a uh, crypto research is um, price prediction is for the end of the bull run, uh, do be reciting this 85 cent. But basically the reason for this is because on the Elite Wave Theory, like I said before, on these uh, motive waves you do usually come to that 1.618 level and then um, that actually matches uh, this wave 1 as well um, and that would be basically as much as this wave 1 was. So that would definitely adhere to the Elite Wave Theory if we were to come to this 84 cent region. However, that $1 range is definitely a very significant level. Um, if we were to get to that $1.25 on that 1.86, that extension, I do think that we would have to uh, backtest that $1 and we'd have to have a lot of buying pressure from that level, which is definitely um, something which might not happen as that's a lot of people's um, targets to actually be selling the asset. So I do, I do think that this 85 cent is actually a really good level to be taking some profits as it is above that, um, sorry, it is below that $1 region and there's going to be a lot of selling pressure at that $1 region. So I'm going to get into some profit taking levels then and the first level that we're going to be looking at is actually this all time high. 
and this is all obviously um, relative to where you did actually purchase VeChain. I purchased VeChain at 3 cent uh, region, so I will actually be taking some profits at this uh, 27 cent region. I know that this isn't actually in them um, too accurately, but it doesn't really matter for this uh, practice. I'm just trying to share with everyone that these are going to be some key levels, and it's going to be really obvious as you will actually find resistance on these levels uh, potentially. And our first level is that all time high. And I'm going to be taking around 20% of profit at that uh, region, I think, um, around that kind of area. And then our next level is between this 35 cent and that 38 cent. And that's on that 0.236 of the Fibonacci extension tool and that 0.382. So basically, I am actually going to just be taking um, maybe around 20% of profit at that region as well, just so that I can consistently take profits whilst appreciating in the asset. And obviously, um, everyone um, is, is each to their own in it. Everyone's got their own exit strategy. But I think that this one's the safest kind of option, as if you were to see some um, strange plummet, you saw the entire market see uh, some strange crash. Um, which definitely does not look like it's going to happen um, at all. But if this was to happen, you're going to feel a lot better if you'd have taken 40% uh, of your profits rather than um, just waiting until that $1 range. So basically, we've got that uh, 0.5 level next, that 40 cent region. I'm not actually going to be taking any at the 40 cent region just because that's really close to the 0.382. But when we come to that 0.618, I'm, de I'm definitely going to be taking around 10% of profit. So that's going to take me to 50% of my profits are going to be gone when we are at that one point, sorry, that 0.618 level. And then when we do get to that, um, just that one level there and around that 50 cent region, I do think that that's going to be a psychological um that's going to have some psychological significance. So I am going to be taking around 10% of profits there as well. And then when we come towards this um, this uh, 1.618, around that 65 cent region, that means that I will have actually taken 60% of my profits at this range. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to take 20% of my profit at this 1.618 level. Then it, that's going to leave me with a 2.618. Our um, conservative price prediction around that range of the 85 cent and I'm actually going to be taking around 20% there. That's going to leave me with 10% left. And I'm just going to leave that 10% to see if we will actually get to this $1.25. I have heard some people saying we're going to get to $2. I think that that's a bit out of the question in the particular time frame for this uh, bull run. But this $1.25 definitely does look like um, a potential if we were to leave ourselves overextended like we did in that wave 3. So I am definitely going to be looking towards that region. Um, and that's going to be a level where I would actually be taking my 10%. And if we were to fall, I'd be taking the 10% um, just uh, at this conservative price prediction point. So if we were to actually get above uh, to this point, say that we got to the 3 3.618 I didn't take any profits and we were to fall I would just be taking it at this um, 85 cent region so that's my exit strategy and um, I'm not sure that, that might have changed them um, since last video but basically I'm just going to be taking them um, around 20% on the way up um, nice and conservatively I'm going to be taking a nice 20% at each of these levels here as well the 1.618 that 2.618 and then I'm just going to leave 10% of it to grow so this is going to be a really nice um this is going to be a really nice balance of risk, uh, basically. It means that I'm going to be taking profits along the way. What I personally do with my profits along the way is I, I go and invest them. I make the money move once again. So I've still got appreciating assets and I'm, t I'm just doing it with profit. And what we must always understand with trading and investing, you're always looking to be trading and investing with only margin. And margin means uh, money that you don't need, basically. So this is what I'm adhering to here. This is definitely um, my strategy. Uh, I've just shown you why we have actually got that one and 25 uh, cent uh, price prediction and I've got that 85 cent price prediction there as well that conservative price prediction so um that's our video for today I will just conclude with saying that I will still be doing a daily update today so do keep an eye out for that make sure to go and hit that bell notification make sure to go and subscribe hit that um go and go and join the discord if you're interested we've got around 450 members in there now and I've got a Twitter as well if you're interested so go and check it out with the link in the description so thank you for watching this video and make sure to have a great day